Hey there, lovely peeps. Uh, this is Christy Lambipu reporting in on what is going to be a, instead of week XXX, we're back to week zero, uh, starting with a clean slate here. So it's time for true confessions here. I've been kind of off the beam the last couple of weeks with uh, particularly, I know some of you on the forum have talked about uh, diet Coke addiction. Uh, and I also had engaged in cheese, uh, dairy, I'm finding out it's really bad for me. And it's, it's the whole leaky gut thing I'm in both cases. Uh, so I apologize to everyone and I hope you can forgive me for my shortcomings. And I'm jumping back on the horse and starting again and uh, the weight gain, I think, has been, you know, I did two weeks where I was not weighing myself and I was eating low carb, high fat, and I was including diet sodas and dairy. So I'm sure some of the weight gain happened there. And then I did a week where I was eating carbs. So see no difference there as far as macros. Macros ain't where, where the problem is everything I was doing to destroy, destroy autophagy and redox potential and light in the microbiome in the gut. It's a story of the three-legged stool. It's not about macros. And I think this is kind of an accidental N equal one reversal here in my case. As I, I, uh, I'll have to tell you my starting weight, I'm starting a load here with, I got some, uh, HCG drops, and I'm going to use those drops, but I'm going to be doing the HCG 2.0 protocol because even on the second weekend on it, on the uh, HCG 2.0 protocol, I lost four pounds in the second week. So it's obviously a good formula. So I want to apologize in advance to anyone and uh, let people know that I'm not perfectly on protocol for Simeon's 500. I'm using. Uh, Dr. Zach Lebeau's, Lebeau, sorry, uh, his HCG 2.0 protocol, but I'm using the, last week I had started uh, around and I was using the, uh, it was probably more a detox problem for me. I gave up after two days, I had severe headaches and, and I know that was detox, so I just said, I can't take this. And uh, in the meantime, I, I had been watching the, uh, I hope that you all will forgive me for my, my uh, shortcomings and continue to uh, follow me on my journey. Um, I have been, you know, even though I've been messing up terribly in the, in the food department, and uh, that's a big part of the leptin reset, staying away from, from dairy, and obviously, in any case, staying away from Diet Coke, diet sodas. Uh, and. Uh, and getting back into uh, the epipaleo prescription. Anyway, uh, I've been messing up with the food side, but I've been working on something here that I'll show you in this, uh, in, the, in the next piece of the video. So I'm gonna have to switch cameras to the rear camera in order to make that happen. I don't think I can do that midstream. So we'll be right back. Guys, yeah, so this is the, uh, the latest here. As you can see, I had, uh, I'm not needing them right now, but I had jugs of uh, frozen water that I was putting into the uh, cold tub. You see over here, I have my detox foot bath set up. And in this container, I keep all the batteries and stuff for the foot bath. But as you can see, I have added something here, and I'm, I'm, I've got the, uh, it's probably the cheapest ozone generator you can find. Uh, I, there, there might be more, there's even DIY yeah, ones, but uh, this is from A2Z Ozone, and it's the Aqua 6, I believe, and it has a setting where you can uh, ozonate for 20 minutes and then cycles off for uh, 40 minutes and, and runs through continuously on that sort of a scheme right now. It's 15 minutes into the 40 minute countdown for the next cycle of ozone. I've got my drop cam looking at that status right now before I was having it look at the aqua chiller. Right now that's 46 degrees and that's great because it, it, uh, when it was getting, it was really hot here 
uh, unseasonably warm, it was uh, fighting to stay at, uh, in the mid to upper 50s. So now I've got nice, clean, clear water. It was it was clean before, but right now it's nice and uh, yeah, I've got some uh, oxidation ring left there from, from before, but it's, believe me, it's not dirty. I've wiped it out and uh, disinfected it and everything. And uh, it has a nice little drain out here. And I just put that right out the door. I also have a little transfer pump so I can suck everything dry and then uh, hose it out. So anyway, that's, I've got the, <laughs> my little makeshift cover for it. And I've got uh, uh, it's pipe insulation all around the outside. I'm probably going to need to add another layer of that. And here's my infrared light that I use when I'm in the tub. And I've got my temperature going there. And then rubber ducky comes in the tub with me. And i got my gloves and my swim cap and, and uh, watch cap. Towels, all the good stuff. But uh, the addition to the environment is the ozonator. So what I want to do is uh, I'm going to do this and back here. I also wanted to show you I've got my little portable steam sauna. And what I'm going to do is run ozone into that. And there's a little generator for the steam. And uh, anyway, that's, that's I've, I've uh, upgraded my environment to include uh, ozonation. Especially now that it's getting warmer, I want to make sure that, and have a uh, bacteria-free environment here. So, that's my update. So, I, I apologize for the delay in, in uh, getting a, a video out there. And again, I hope that uh, you all will forgive me and Dr. Cruz, please forgive me. I am kicking my ass for uh, doing it, but I needed, a, I needed to get it out of my system. It, you know, I've, um, Got to, I've got to learn, but I, I hope that you will forgive me, and I hope that everybody out there is on uh, Dr. Cruz's forums will forgive me, and uh, bear with me while I uh, get back on the horse, and uh, namaste.